guys so welcome back to my channel today we're going to be discussing what programs and apps we use at studio krista that basically are essential to keeping our um, creative agency flowing 24 7 that's going to include automations the sort of programs we recommend for getting jobs done specifically and anything in between especially with like the outreach which i know is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially graphic designers and SMMA agency owners. So that's something we're going to be covering today. Um, I do make these videos because I enjoy teaching and kind of sharing what we're doing, but would really appreciate a like, comment and subscribe just to keep me boosted, keep me motivated and all of that jazz. Um, we're going to start with essentially the main ones that I'd recommend. I have been asked a few times in my DMs on Insta what we're using and what we recommend, not just for growing our agency, but during the starting phase as well. So this is gonna be great for beginners, but also for people that already have an agency and wanna learn a little bit more about each program or how they can basically optimize it much better. So I'm gonna start with the website. Now, this is something surprisingly that not all SMMA agency owners have and a lot of graphic designers don't have either. Um, personally, I think the website is the most important thing. Um, most of our clients that we convert is via the website where they've gone on and seen what we, what we can do with our own website and how that kind of translates into what we can create for clients. We also host our portfolio on there. So whether you're a web builder, graphic designer, um, branding specialist, or you've got your SMA agency, having a website that showcases you know, your testimonials, portfolio, services, that's going to be key. Um, for the website, I personally recommend Squarespace. We use this for our own hosting platform. It's not really expensive. I think it's about $10 a month and they've got some amazing features. So if you aren't actually a web builder, you can still build something that is going to showcase and look nice to clients. And if you are a website builder, you know, you can create something truly special with it. So for the website, I would, let's say Squarespace is your best option. Now, this one's more for the creative people. So website builders, graphic designers, people doing branding, um, my SMMA peaks, you do not need this one, but this is Adobe Suite. So obviously Adobe's huge. They've actually just purchased Figma. So they're just growing and growing and anything creative that's done to those high specs that, you know, every client wants needs to be done on Adobe. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it sits about what's that, eighty dollars a month. But it's essential if you know you're in the creative space, and as you guys know, you can't actually get by without it. So that's going to be number two that I highly recommend. Number three, and this is something a lot of people don't want to invest in, but it's very small, and that is your Gmail account. So a lot, I see a lot of people with their agencies that will say, for example. Um, Let's say studiojohnny at gmail.com as opposed to hello at studiojohnny.com. Now, paying for that domain switch is imperative for building trust and showcasing that, you know, you're a high quality agency. At the end of the day, would you be purchasing from a business that still has a Gmail account? Chances are you won't. And the reality is neither will your client. So it's not that expensive. I think it's about five bucks a month for one user. And it's just going to instill that trust that is going to just help you convert a lot more clients. So definitely, definitely invest in having your Gmail account with your domain name. Um, next, we're going to switch to what we use to host our calls and integrate our calendar with, and that is Calendly. So you want to be able to send the link to potential clients where they can book a call to speak to you and you want something that is either cheap or free and Calendly is both. So the free version works really well. Free version is going to be great, especially if you're just starting out and all you need it for is someone to book time slots with you. Um, you can send them the link. It links up with your G Suite calendar or any other things. It basically got a million integrations and for anything it doesn't, you can use Zapier for it. So Calendly highly recommend. We do use the paid version, but that is because we like to automate our workflows. So with the paid version, basically someone can book a call with you and they'll get email reminders that might include things such as 
testimonials, um, website examples within their niche. And what that will do is basically just warm that lead up a little bit more for you, gives the client the opportunity to see the quality of your work as well, which is really important. So if you're an SMMA, for example, um, you could showcase a testimonial where, you know, you've helped the client 10x their um, net profits with your skills. And that's just going to make the call a lot easier and for that client to have a bit more of an understanding about your standard of work and what you do. Um, moving on, I'm going to now showcase what we use for our outreach. Now, outreach is key and I've got a few videos just on that. So check them out if you want to kind of delve a little bit deeper. Today, we're just going to be talking about like the platforms we, um, we use for it. But yeah, outreach is definitely the key part of the business to basically keep yourself afloat and keep generating new revenue that's going to allow you to, you know, better your services and just grow as a business in general. Um, first of all, Facebook and Instagram, you need to have a social media presence. Social media is so important. Every big business has an Instagram page. So having an optimized Instagram and Facebook page is going to be key. Facebook, especially if you want to start running ads as well to your own agency. Um, so yeah, make sure your social media is optimized. So you've got all your links in there. The bio is looking good. The imagery and what you're posting represents what you do with the business. So it's nice and clear for clients to see who you are, what you do, and everything is of that high quality. So they trust you. Trust, trust, trust is going to be a key thing with growing your business. Um, second is going to be LinkedIn. We use this a lot. And depending on the kind of niche you're in, this is going to be something like, you know, it's going to be key. For e-commerce, LinkedIn isn't as important. Definitely recommend Instagram and Facebook for that. But if you're doing niche specific things, like for example, hairdressers, dental clinics, um, interior design agencies, real estate, you're going to realistically be doing most of your outbound prospecting with LinkedIn. So having an optimized LinkedIn profile with over 500 connections, um, a bio of your work and showing casing that you're the director of your current business, um, creating a LinkedIn page for your business as well. These are all things that are just going to completely keep compounding and allow your business to look that much more legit and show the size of the business that you are, which is going to attract, you know, those mid to big size clients. Um, I've got a whole video on LinkedIn outreach because it is such an in-depth process, but, you know, make sure you are paying for sales navigator. It's not cheap, but if you get one client per month, it is paid for itself tenfold. So Sales Navigator and LinkedIn, highly recommend. Moving on to our third outreach methodology, and that is going to be email marketing. Email marketing, you know, it's a tough one. Most people struggle. Um, the open rate for most email is hard. A lot of emails go to spam. So for email marketing, personally, I recommend Hunter.io. It's a free service that's going to allow you to get started in the space without having to pay anything up front. Um, they do have a paid version, which warms up the inboxes, but that's a completely different story. For now, Hunter.io free version is going to allow you to basically start sending out emails and generating leads that way. Um, and once you improve and get better, then you can look at the more premium or it's something that you can outsource if you know you struggle with copy or you just don't have the time to be A-B testing what works and what doesn't work. And then fourth that we recommend and use quite a bit is Upwork. Now, you know, like freelancer, people per hour, competition's high. Sometimes the price point isn't all the way there, but it does generate a lot of business for us. So I recommend optimizing your profile on Upwork and spending at least a couple of hours per day going through the new jobs within your niche. So for example, if you're doing branding, you can type in branding jobs and they'll show up and then you can apply for them. Um, Price-wise for Upwork, it's about $25 for 100 credits. Now 100 credits for us currently does get us one client, 100 credits roughly, but we have been doing this for some time and we understand what works and what doesn't work when applying for cover letters and our profile is pretty well optimized. But I would say 200 to 300 credits, which is 50 to $75, should generate you a client paying at least um, between 500 and 1500, depending on what services you're offering. 
So the return on investment is still really, really good. Um, I'd say these are the main, the main apps and platforms we use for now. Obviously, Canva Pro, highly recommend, especially if you're a social media manager because you want to be doing those Instagram templates. And for that, Canva works really well. It's the, you know, the graphic design platform for the non-graphic designers. So Canva is another great option. But other than that, these should get your business started. Or if you're at that middle stage, you know, these should help push you along and kind of help you generate more and get more out of it. If you've enjoyed this, I've got a few more other videos on outreach specifically, which is what I'm focusing on at the moment. Um, but if you've got any other apps or platforms that you enjoy using, please comment below. Love to hear them. In the meantime, please like, comment and subscribe.